this is a safety video to warn people for the use of older model Hummer 195s as they do have a uh, crash zone uh, where injuries can actually happen. Um, it has been recognized in the past and um, these units have been rectified but not 100%. So the issue is that in order to get onto the manual controls uh, in an event of a uh, remote failure or in case of an air loss, um, you cannot reach the levers from the side where the stabilizers uh, fold up to. You'll have to basically operate from uh, this side, which is a little bit awkward. Uh, same on the front uh, crane. Again, you can uh, reach here, but the crush zone is over here. Let me demonstrate quick, quickly how this could actually be an issue. It's mostly when you actually uh, backing up the, uh, the crane. So let's say the stabilizer leg is engaged. I'm not going to fully demonstrate it all the way. But as you can see, once the stabilizer is down, there seems to be a, an open space, which is what naturally people uh, go to and reach to. So I can basically operate other functions here, and people tend to reach him from this side. However, if I'm attempting to bring the crane or bring the legs back, to the resting position, as you can see, as the legs are folding back all the way to their uh, resting position, my arm is 100% in a crash zone. So if I continue holding this lever on and close this leg or retract the leg entirely, I will crash my own wrist. So the solution to that is that we got to reach him from this side and whether you are engaging it or in fact retracting it and putting it back into its resting place you have got to do that from the opposite side see once the crane is once the legs are resting there's only very little room there so had my arm been there it would have been crushed entirely so this is what you need to uh, make aware all your drivers and everyone is operating all the model 195s, Hammer 